What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, the British have attempted to defend Dublin and have landed near the city. However, we have marched troops along to engulf them and destroy them. This is an incredibly uh, elite army, lots of veteran infantry regiments, or elite veteran, elite infantry regiments with a certain level of battlefield experience, plus some really good cavalry in the form of the lifeguards, a couple of units of cuirassier, and some horse grenadier guards. Let's see if they can beat the humble infantry, the humble veterans of the Grand Columbian Army. Let's take them out. So, what I find quite, uh, what I find usually quite good, is to keep your, what well, to keep howitzers shooting at the horse grenadier guards, because they can be quite frustrating to engage at a range with musketry. So it's usually quite a good idea to focus fire uh, on them with your mortars from the get-go, uh, in my opinion, and then use your foot artillery to engage the rest of their infantry force. But, frankly, in this game, artillery, almost every piece of artillery is pretty good at almost every type of target, so... Very much horses for courses, really. Uh, ooh, fighting over the town. Do not want to do this. They have a more elite army than me, and they have an army that's more able to take advantage of constricted areas. I will be very much going around the side. My artillery is going to be fairly static for the most part, except for my horse artillery. Keep my infantry out wide. My grenadiers can screen the city to make sure we don't get any... But if we do get into any tussles, we've got our um, more melee equipped infantry ready to deal with it. And all of my cavalry is light, so they're going to go on the right flank. Horse artillery, stay unlimbered and get ready to advance. So the enemy are reorganizing, so we are going to advance at pace on a wide front. Three pounders, they actually go over here to get a different angle. So, howitzers. Actually, one, actually let's pick on the curacy here. Their heavy cavalry is quite dangerous. Poor Scarlet Artillery is stuck. Get my infantry ready to form up. Get my artillery to pound the infantry. Here I see air storming in. Square, square. They're going to collide into two squares. That's going to be reasonably good for us. The rest of my formation is advancing as usual. My cat, I got dragoons here ready to attack. Well, I think the regiment of horse are going to break soon anyway. These horse grenadier guards, now they're still on their horses. They haven't dismounted. Okay, now you guys form into square. But that's going to be very good for us. They're going to lose a lot of cavalry engaging those infantry squares. You're engaging, so let's advance you up. Skirmishers up. You may drop into squares. Precision artillery there. Good artillery land in the back as well. Squares are holding firm. Push up the colonial light cavalry. And the skirmishes are a bit vulnerable to the regiment of horse that's parading around. Okay, one horse grade the guard unit is dismounted, so this unit will un get out of square, advance into line. Yeah, there we go. Regiment of horse oh, shattered from our concentrated musket fire, so that's no bother. Get out of line. Form up. Cavalry on the flank are broken. Two 
is over here? You need have lifeguards, so we need to be cognizant of them. There you men, reload. There's an enemy, plenty of enemies to kill to your front. Here comes the volleys. Line infantry guards, Swiss guards, Swiss grenadiers. Royal British Grenadiers. This is a very elite army indeed. Light cavalry go out there to go after the German bodyguard. I'm hearing some, it looks, sounds like some of my infantry units count as being, they're being engaged. You know, now they've moved, that's changed. Warm Square. Excellent. So a lot of the British units. Oh, this Cuirassier is going to be cut down in crossfire. Yeah, they've had enough. Swiss Grenadiers have had enough. The Swiss Guards are still around and kicking. You are in charge, the Horse Grenadier Guards. The lifeguards deploying to protect their general. Treat my skirmishes, we killed the general. They reform the line. Okay, divvy up my ground is to charge two things. One go after the horse grenade guards, one go after the horse artillery. Bring up push up the line, unlimber the horse artillery. Cavalry had to buy some time to get my skirmishes out. Although they are wavering. Okay, right now, advance through the square. Grenade guards are shattered, get the grenadiers back up into position. Retarget my howitzers. Put artillery. At the Scottish line to the rear, we might actually be able to break cavalry here. Run my colonial light through the middle, attack the horse artillery. The skirmishers will put a good volley into the lifeguards, that should be the end of them. Yeah, there they go. Okay, you men advance up to here to flank an infantry regiment. Get out of square. Push up. Don't need to be. You guys don't need to be anywhere. They're shattered. So come in, my general. Make sure all my cavalry is committed. Make sure all my artillery stop firing. The general chased down the line infantry. Push these men up. No, yeah, she don't push them in. Bravely charge into their formation. Same as you men charge. Guard mode off. Charge these gun crews. Did they think there's no one there? Oh, there's jolly good weeds. But actually, there's a bunch of. Grand Colombian Grenadiers here. Although he's charged straight through the guns. He's done okay. <laughs> Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. And right, we're going to continue. Got them on the run. of that Grenadier Guard unit. Chase down those horse Grenadier Guards. Oh, 
Kill the last of the line infantry. Excellent. One last grenadier. Okay, pursue the first regiment of foot, Royal Irish Regiment. Actually, go for the. No, go for the Royal Irish Regiment. Blunder by shotgunners are a, a nice to have, but not pretty cool. Excellent. That'll teach the British to get involved. Ireland is secured. Once and for all. They've retreated, so now we can mop them up. Excellent, this army can fully replenish. Señoría. Aid. La discreción es Señoría. E men push down towards London. You need to be aware of the fact that we can't actually compete with this navy not on equal terms because you're not at full strength and we we're still waiting here to see if they attack us that's what i want to do i mean i might even i can't do that i was just trying to see if i could upgrade gibraltar but i don't have the money but you're ready to push on towards edinburgh you will follow my priest is here converting the population to Catholicism. Yeah, you're not going to go fight against them, no sir. Although I very much want Goodwin Plummer. We will get him. We will get victory. Um... Do I want to intercept? In theory, I should, because the garrison's quite depleted anyway. I should fight it. Yeah. Weak riflemen. Curacier Guard. Yeah, this army is just done for. Got some good units in it, but it's definitely done for. So let's get ready. Don't need to be ready for the bulk of the enemy to actually come in from behind. I mean, in theory, if the game is a, if the game is acting appropriately, let's put my American mercenaries into the line to face off the initial wave. My main infantry block can sit behind until otherwise directed. I'm going to deploy a gun team on either... Well, not quite on either flank here. Deploy the howitzers because they can fire 360 degrees. Native wing on the right. Cavalry hold here. Steel and infantry unit to bolster this flank. And then you fellows. Form line. Cursier guards advancing. Fired our initial volley. <laughs> not clutch how it says kill two of my own guys you men get in and limber unsurprising that artillery broke run run cavalrymen run and they blasted straight through that one but they are horse guards that's what they do Howitzers smash into the Dragoons. That's, that was pretty spectacular. Though. That unit got out. 
absolutely smashed, but not smashed enough. Let's bring native troops over here. The howitzers smack the dragoons. Advance up towards the green jackets. There we go, the horse guards are gone. There's the sharpshooters. This artillery unit are limber. Your dragoons are doing good work, but now let's spin my houses around to engage. Some of these infantry blocks is the unit of horse grenadier guards on the way. I mean, they should, when they break, they should be gone, gone. There we go. Shattered, exhausted. Former second line. Okay, this unit. Get out of the line, get out on the flank. I think there's enemy artillery on the hill. Draw. No, they sense the weakness. Yeah, they're gonna get him. Cavalry into the Dragoons. They're going to get fired upon. They too may break in time, actually. Okay. Who's that up there? Ferguson Roy from them. Okay, howitzers engage the enemy infantry. They should go down pretty well. Put your dragoons, get them to pull out. Oh, you men, form square, rear charge. Infantry coming back on the right, on the left rather. Yeah, you're going to smash straight into that square and it's not going to work. Excellent native warriors get over here. Plug the gaps. How it says engage the infantry that are returning so they don't push on flank. These units form up. Uh, 12 pounders engage. Six is on the hill. You guys need to push up here. These two units need to advance towards the Ferguson Riflemen at speed. You're pouring fire into that infantry formation. Cease fire. Try get my native troops over into the woods. Let's see if you can charge them. You're probably going to break, but let's see if you do. Oh, you're going to make it. Hold, courage, friends. Get these reserves in here. I wonder if you guys would be hidden from back here, but you're not. They just charged through our guys. That's not cool. Give my general up here to take out the artillery. This has been quite the cluster. Push on. Don't give them a break. They're only blunderbuss shotgunners. I think I need a coffee.
There you go. All the time you're wasting shooting at the bowmen. You could spend shooting at someone else. Oh, shrapnel shot. Watch my general heroically get gunned down. Because I want to see this. Honestly, they have all broken except for the artillery. Kingdom of Mercenaries advancing slightly to one side. Excellent shot, 12 pounder. Gentlemen, ask again. Hell, I think you fired your last, except for this one. No, he's reloading as well. Twelve pound a ceasefire. Ooh, there is a mine back here. But it didn't help. The unit was destroyed. <laughs> that was carnage. It was fun. Um, but I believe that is everything. That's not bad. If we get attacked now, we're in a bit of trouble. But let's see if they do. I mean, let's push the garrison back. Garrison from Edinburgh. Hey, 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 this is what I wanted to see. Hey, Breton, how you doing? Where's all your pals? Cool. Two, both of our full armies ready to be brought to bear. Let's do it. Let's also assume that what we probably want first, for the most part, is infantry from our reserves. Let's get cracking. So we've got horse artillery coming in, 24 pounders, lots of howitzers some puckle guns. More puckle guns, more artillery. Yeah. We're going to be using our cavalry to flush out their artillery. Because um, eventually we're going to start seeing so many guns on the field, they're not going to have an army. Not a proper army, that is. But that is for us to see in this battle. Do they do. Well, I'll be interested to see uh, how they deploy, really. They got horse artillery, so they'll be zipping those all over the place. Let's get going. Holding the town will be useful, but all this scattering of buildings around it makes it not as useful as it could be. Not compared to holding this piece of high ground here. So let's send a detachment up. Secure that. Attachment in the low ground of planes. Skirmishes. Native faction on the right flank with the frontiersmen. Pikemen to go right up the middle. Howitzers to engage from here. But our, our artillery in as in addition to our horse artillery, is all going to push up. So I want... I want to hold the high ground as much as is practically possible. Horse artillery might scamper over there for a, for a good angle. Run the cavalry forward. Pikes back them up. New men get over here as well. Now oh, it's uh, limber. That 
boys eh? Dragoons, killed a bunch of my guys. Mercenaries from the square. Pikemen redeploy. And Pikemen will take care of them. Get these infantry units out of square. Get cracking, get my guns up. Mercenaries are almost shattered. Okay, Howard says going to use carcass shot against just some of their infantry, start to try and thin them out. My pikemen deployed. We get my infantry deployed, rather. Feel like this base. Actually, to be honest. Frontiersmen get over here, natives just stand back and hold the line because we've got a few gaps. And Limber and Caster Sharp. You men make way. White Dragoons get up here and start firing in a minute. Pikemen push to the left, do you men jump into squares? Because are you ready to fire? Pikemen decide to advance in column, which is super funky. Plenty of dragoons go after the pocket guns to the rear. Curiosity air just hold. Frontiersmen and my, my American infantry might actually hold the line together. Pikes will deal with them. Carter shot engage the colonial line. Horse artillery get over here. Attack the general's bodyguard. Native war auxiliary push up. Get ready to deal with this charge that's developing. So don't kill the pack of guns, go after the yeomanry. Close range carcass shot. Okay, we're starting to push them back. Pull back, because right now these Curiosier are just getting some easy kills. They've killed the enemy general. Pikemen push on and attack the enemy artillery battery here, although it looks like they are already under fire. Commit my cuirassier. Smash the native African infantry. The enemy is retreating on all fronts. Let us push up and take the field. Guards are pushing out themselves. Kill that general's bodyguard. Okay, your, this cavalry is holding up the enemy, but that is where they are coming in from, so you need to be careful. Guards, 
bring out the native foam and auxiliary. Kill their general again. Unmember my horse artillery. Get my cavalry over here to support my cuirassier. Okay, two men hold. Kill all my artillery. Just a round shot. No, not that. Just a round shot. Engage. Horse artillery on the flank, engage buckle guns. Everybody else begin engaging the enemy as they advance. Howitzers limber up. General advance. Pikemen withdraw. That's my main line. My cavalry have managed to have finally broken. But that's okay. So, in terms of artillery, I mean, it's all positioned pretty okay. Just my howitzers that I'd want to push it up. Yeah, the horse artillery has got a good angle enemy artillery. And there's a lot of it coming in. Not doing anything except shooting down guys in the back with these. This enemy horse artillery unit. Okay, my, my horse artillery might engage their foot artillery. Bring on my light dragoons, start to attack some of their artillery. Let's try and not allow them to have too much freedom of manoeuvre. Should have been nearly broken. Oh, they've been shattered actually already. Yeah, the cavalry is defend is the puck cavalry is defending their puckle guns for some god awful reason. Push up my cuirassier. Where are you guys? Have you routed yet? Get all my artillery just to engage their their artillery positions. The dragoons may well be routed by the colonial light cavalry. So my dressier are gonna go after them. Okay, right, unlimber my howitzers. Look at my native warriors on the right flank. I mean, if this cavalry is just going to chase my routing cavalry away, let's retarget my howitzers, or my artillery. They might keep my curiosity here are almost dead anyway. Although, my horse artillery out on the flank. Darker shot inbound. Get over here, Marines. 
A long way to go. But we will hold. Come on, Marines, they get my Cursier as well. Unsurprisingly, they were fairly blown. Engage their artillery. Almost across the board. Uh, light cavalry gets got a taste for success. Skirmishes are going to put some shots into you, though. Come on, charge me! I don't care. I don't. I'm not afraid. Oh. I will be very, very loose with my men's lives. There we go. Let's allow my marines to push up. Ooh, quick climb, eh? Oh, my folks, fire that out. I might just cock a shot in the ground ahead of them. They'd be a bit more unpredictable with their damage, but damage they will just do a good amount across the board. Ah uh, yes, household cavalry. We're slamming shots home constantly into this concentrated area of troops. Shots landing. Native African African native infantry is pushing in. Good hits. And slamming hits into my pikemen. The climb shots coming in. Ah, too long for you, eh? My round shots turned this into an artillery graveyard. Well, are you guys? I suppose the howitzers. I'm coming in as well. Pikeman! Boom! Pike wall! <laughs> Sorry, everyone. That really snuck up on me. Um, I was about to say, you never see this. You never get to see a pike line, because what cavalry charges you head on like that? The answer is still none. Militias breaking, bouncing artillery, still lethal. Excellent, my marines are able to shoot. Oh, the dragoons are under fire, the marines are having a go at them. My native musketmen also. And my marines in to engage. Push up my household cavalry. Native warriors push up as well. Hello. My white, my goons. Charge the African native infantry. These cavalrymen are quite sturdy. Push out the marines. Get my musketman auxiliary in position. Ah, oh, they broke. I think they were hit by artillery as well. Speaking of, let's redirect my artillery fire on some new targets. Actually, let's 
It's abandoned those targets in the rear entirely. No, oh, no, they've abandoned the they've abandoned the task. Push up Marines. Howitzers engage the first regiment of native infantry. Mortar battery. You lost all but one gun. Light Dragoons, via the Household Cavalry. Focus on the Dragoons with my artillery. Kill the Mortar Battery. Excellent. And just kill them. Kill them all. They are very much in trouble. The colonial position is not very tenable. Hell, not even just the colonial position. Their position in their homeland is not tenable. Redirect some troops, drop some artillery on them. Nope, they broke immediately. That's all the light infantry. Let's see how you like these apples. Not very much. There you go, shattered immediately. Yeah, you better run. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We don't need to worry about mopping up too much. There we go. Ah, you're coming back to Agvik, okay? Yes, and all the while your homeland is crumbling into dust. It's little old me up in the north. That's what you're concerned about. Don't worry, Austria. You'll get yours. Ah, they pushed us out. Go get him, sloop. La flota está perdida. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, here comes the Austrian Navy. Hmm, more shenanigans at play. Okay. The rest of the world is coping with our dominance fairly well. And well yeah, once you take Britain, though, once you secure the British Isles, I want to begin building a, uh, a large blockade of the enti entire Austrian coast. Which will be a significant undertaking. It will initially start with cutting off their access to the Atlantic across the Straits of Gibraltar. But then it will expand into the Mediterranean and with an objective of cutting them off completely from international trade. Rocket ship, heavy first brig, Razi. First of all, fleet destroyed. I mean, it's a sloop, not a fleet, really. So, Mr. Lozano, get replenishing. I mean, you can demand the surrender of Edinburgh if you like. Yeah, they took it. Take the city, cross over with Sebastian Serrano's army. They do have armies that can stand against us, but they're both depleted. Let's demolish the university. Let's repair this. Let's recruit. Oh, I can't recruit anything here because of reasons. Newfoundland has a Weavers cottage. New France has a global trading company. In steam engine upgrades, they are significant. Let's make sure we get a sloop up here protecting Rupert's land. Let's get a couple more in as battery upgrades. Let's 
get a port upgrade. Fleet arrives. Huzzah! So you're going to take position on this trade zone. And then one fleet can protect, just about protect, two fleets, maybe. New town emerges in Hispaniola. We'll have a craft workshop. And yeah, your army is going to be all about defending against um, enemy probing attacks. Fourth reach of the line, Sea Adler. Okay, let's get some. Well, you are getting some galleons on the go, that's good. So is quite well garrisoned, as is Florida. Okay, you're here. We've got one good fleet to defend the entire continent, which doesn't seem like a lot until you realise how far these things can move. Let's get you over to Europe. Another army being raised in Boston. Two native musketmen scout units. I mean, I need the army. St oh no, I don't. Look, I think I might not be able to get too many spicy units. Marines, you'll do. Two units of marines. Excellent. So we've taken Scotland. Our rake is going to drive down towards London to understand what's going on. We're not going to worry about this Austrian fleet yet. I want to try and push the British out of London. Because then their fleet will have nowhere to go. This army that had the marines in it. That supported me in the last battle. They can put Morocco under siege. This army is within range to help. Yes, they are within range to help. So if the enemy muster more forces to drive north and attack us. We can uh, push them back. Spain's building quite a decent little fleet there. Um, but yes, I would like to co go to gain control of the entire Atlantic coast and stop the Austrians from waging war at sea. Yeah, you have some fragments of ships, but it might mean I end up attacking. The Knights of St. John to our protectorate of Venice. And Venice may bring a load of other people into war, including the Knights of St. including um, Spain. So who knows? We may. Ultimately, if we go after Spain, we'll have a front line with Austria, which we will fortify while we deal with our. produce our Atlantic strategy. And don't forget, we do have British territories in India to take. Inverness is being demolished. We don't need another university. Cool. Good. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Yeah, they're reorganising their defence. Well, they nearly send troops to another theatre. Gentlemen are abandoning the university in Scotland. They're solidifying their defence of Tangier, but they aren't actually coming in to help, which is good. Let's see what Austria likes to do. But if I could start off with having two grand fleets in Europe, and also they just lost an entire fleet to Prussia. No, it was an army, sorry, that marched in and evicted them. But if I could have a fleet to block off the Baltic, and then a fleet to block off the Straits of Gibraltar, that would be ideal. Ah. Now it begins. Um, hmm. You guys could definitely fight and win that battle. I, however, am incompetent, and I need, I need, I need an edge of some Hora! sort. There we go. I'm more than happy to admit when I suck. And there your battles are very much one of those. 
Ooh, an alliance. Norway, Russia, Britain. I don't want to make an enemy of Norway. I like Norway. Don't want to make an enemy of Russia. I'm already at war with Britain, so I think it kind of counts against itself there. So how much do we get? 78,000. Big money. Building constructed. Big port. Fleet arrives. Sí, oh, yes, our invasion. Yes, yes, yes. I forgot all about you. One of you has to land and take Ceylon. That has to happen. The other has to land and attack Calcutta. It appears someone's in Bengal, so we're going to land at Cuttack and advance north to Calcutta. And that's fine. I don't need to worry about attacking Cuttack immediately, sí, although there is an entire army here. Very well. We will a siege to Cuttack. Although we may well actually end up attacking it, because it looks like it's quite poorly suited for the for a defensive battle. This sloop can't raid anywhere super useful. I think there's someone in Calcutta, which is why we can't land there. Oh yeah, there's a full army. So if we if we want to attack it, we need to attack it this turn. So that if this army comes to attack us, we're in we're fortified in a good position. But let's assume this sloop is done for. And it continues raiding. Oh, why they didn't kill me, I don't know. Let's... You're here as well. Do we want to go at war with Prussia? Well, we are. I mean, we are at war with Prussia. Bunch of seconds. I mean, that's a deadly fleet. We can do with attacking it. Bloop! Excellent! Um, but looking at the time... Because naval battles last so long, I think I'm going to kick this off in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone.